When we create an email, sometimes there's a need for a collaborative space too. We might go off to a OneNote and grab a, a link and share that notebook or again, scratch around and try and find the right place. But this is another place where we can add a loop component very quickly and easily. So this is an email uh, where Laura and Matt are going to be quite active in a support channel throughout the week and they're likely to get feedback. So I'm sending a, a table to them that I want them to fill out to capture that feedback. I'll use the loop component button up here and this is an internal email so I can add a loop component. I'm not quite supported yet with external people yet. Uh, so we click on the, intern the, the loop component button, I'll add a table to it um, and we'll give that a title. So this is going to be feedback from support channel and I'll get them to fill that table out. So this, um, again, we've got in our email here, just a regular conversation. It's, it's framing up what we want. Sure, this could be a Word document. It could be a, an Excel spreadsheet. It could be anything like that. I've chosen to use a loop so that I can share it in other ways with, with people across the team and the rest of the support desk. Uh, so it doesn't have to stop there. Uh, as you've seen in earlier videos, um, this table is one thing that we could, we could add. We could also add something like a task list as well. Uh, and that way we can assign maybe some of those ideas for uh, either Laura or Matt to create support articles and um, then make it something that can uh, uh, respond to the feedback that people have given in the channel. So quick way to add a collaborative space to an email with lots of possibilities.